What's up everybody? So you're thinking about moving to the Oregon coast. I'm gonna take you on a drive from Yahats to Florence, and we are gonna show you one of the most epic drives on all of the United States coastline. I call it the Oregon's Big Sur. It's the best drive on the Oregon coast. If you wanna make any drive on the Oregon coast, you gotta make the drive from Florence to Yahat. It's not very far, but it is epic in all proportions. Right behind me, you can see Yahat. It is one of the coolest little cities all of the United States on the coast. And if you're looking to make a move, well, you gotta make this drive first. We're gonna get after it right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good and the bad of living on the Oregon coast, then subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications, so you can be the first to learn about the current market on the coast. My name is Eddie, and I get calls, texts, and emails every single day from people just like you looking to make a move to the coast, especially Yaha in Florence. Absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or email us. We're happy to help you make a smooth move to the Oregon coast today. So if you're gonna be driving the coast and you wanna check out some great things, one of the most epic hikes and views is gonna be right here at Cape Perpetua. This place is right on the central Oregon coast, just south of Yahats, Oregon. Right down there is the place we're gonna go to, and it is actually right on the Lincoln County and Lane County line. But the beauty doesn't change. And then you got Hesita Head right there. Um, the Hesita Head Lighthouses, that is where Sea Lion Caves is. So we're actually gonna go visit there on our drive down. But I'm gonna show you about three or four different things along this stretch of coast. Come on with me. Where are we now? This is Devil's Churn State Park. Right, we were just right up there. That's Cape Perpetua, we're right up there. Came down, you got Devil's Churn. It's uh, basically like a little ravine where water comes in. I don't know if that's the right word, but I'll tell you what it is. And, uh, but this is one great stop, you know, right here. You need to go to the bathroom. They've got a little shop right here. And uh, as we go, there's a great path that takes you all the way down to the rocks down there. I would definitely check the map, um, stop here. This is a really cool view and a cool experience. Here we are at Cook's Chasm Bridge. Here's Cook's Chasm. And then that's where we were, way up there. Built in 1931. going to want to stop at check out this portion of Northern Coast. Here we are along the 101. Right here we got Neptune North. This is about two miles south of Cape Perpetua. And we're going to keep trucking along. Here we are at Neptune South. This is a great place if you wanted to come stop with the kids. They got picnic benches, they got a big field, love to see. Come check it out, Neptune State Park, that's where we go. Here we are at Strawberry Hill State Park. It is a day use only park. There's a trail down to the beach. We've got two different sides. You can see somebody's picnicking down there right now. I can see their, their stuff, let's zoom in. Boom, see all their stuff there, okay? What a splendid day, a beautiful day.
Look at this. This is going right into the tunnel through the Hasita Head. There's the Hasita Head Lighthouse. And look at this beach. This is a great place to stop. Spend out an hour or two, come hang out here, see the sights. This is the Oregon coast. This is November. Thanksgiving is next week. You might get one week, two weeks of rain, but then you get a couple days just like this, clear, no clouds in the sky, horizon view, 62 degrees, and beautiful. This is why we live on the coast.